Hello, Collective. How are you all today? I hope you all are having a fantastic day. It has been a little warm outside. We just got some, a few little sprinkles of a shower. I want to ask um, everyone in uh, right now, uh, I thank you Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Girl. Thank you all so much for putting sacred circles of light around me and the collective at this time. Thank you. Thank you for removing any energies that have intentions to cause any harm, ill will, to removing those negative energies. I ask that Count St. Germain activate the violet flame and transmute all those energies into pure divine love and light now. Again, thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for coming here and being here with me at this time. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for allowing me to receive these messages and be able to give them clear and precise to you. Let's see here. Okay, so we're going to start off with the overall energy. So um, instead of the labyrinth uh, tarot deck today, the big ones, I did get a new my um, Kipper deck, uh, the big one. I still have my little one, which I will use, but I'm going to use this one for the overall energy today. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. So I do want to go ahead and say, guys, that um, I was going to, I just tried to set up outside to do this reading, and I got everything set up ready to go, and then I felt um, some negative energies around that were trying to um, energy harvest. Um, and I have, for the last like 20 minutes, I have been rebuking and getting rid of those negative energies. So again, and we want to send out anyone that has any negative intentions or ill will towards me or the collective. Um, we're sending those energies back and that will be instant karma for any individual who is to is coming up against uh, me and the collective at this time as I'm especially right now as I'm trying to get these messages out. That's what it boils down to guys is there's I'm telling you there is some negative energies that does not want the messages to come out because why what does it do? It exposes them. Some individuals do not want the messages to come out because they feel that they, uh, as I have started this <laughs> avenue, so this is not necessarily for making money. Money is a byproduct of it. I do this because I was called to do it and because that it, it was, it, like I said, I answered the call and, and I do it. I work for God. So that's what I do. I'm an entertainer and, and it's so crazy because most people are like, you why why would the most high choose you it's again the most high chooses the people that you would least expect um, let's see here let me get one overall card the overall energy today right now so so we got so we got despair and unexpected income so what I'm feeling right now guys is because uh, I'm still uh, transmuting and uh, removing this negative energy that has been projected. And I'm so feeling right now that somebody is in despair over this unexpected income. And I feel like they're in despair, despair over this unexpected income because they are, it's like, I feel like this is somebody, this is, okay, I'm getting a couple scenarios here. So, okay. So again, guys, take what mess, take the messages that resonate with you, leave what doesn't. I'm getting right now that someone is in despair right now over this unexpected income. I've got this scenario that one is this person is in despair because they have to give this unexpected income to the collective back that they had taken. And that that's why this person is in despair. And then, then I've got another scenario of that. There's another person that was wanting to work with the collective, but this person had pushed 
you know, push the collective aside, put them on the back burner, so to, so to say, and never really had any intentions, good intentions for that for that individual. They did not want that in individual to actually move up or to be successful. They wanted this individual to kind of stay complacent, even though that they knew the power and potential that this person had. They it was a jealousy thing. They didn't want to see this individual uh, overcome. And um, then there's another scenario to where there's an individual, it's the same one as the second one, but there's an individual that did not want to see, uh, did not want to see the collective overcome this because they are not making any money off of it, so to speak. And this other, I'm feeling that this person is in despair because they were trying to stop to have to give this unexpected in income because it wasn't theirs in the first place is what I'm getting. Okay, so there's, there's a lot going on here. So let's get into this. I want to dive in here as the chair. There's a lot going on here. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so what we got, Spirit? What's, what's going on here? Okay, so it looks like uh, with this Eight of Pentacles here, um, this is about somebody who is putting in the work. They, ah, uh, this is very like anticipation, but with this, okay. So I'm feeling like this is getting that. Uh, there is unexpected income because this person put in the work. And they have, again, the Ace of Wands here. They have the will to create. They have the energy, the inspiration, the creativity, the force. They, they've got it. Um, this lover's energy it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but I'm very much getting Gemini energies in here. This is someone who is very motivated, uh, very beautiful I'm also getting to, uh, and someone who does take action and has commitment. They have choices to going on here. Um, and with this sun, this is glory, gain, and satisfaction. So this, I'm feeling like this is, uh, for a lot of you all, this is about getting, uh, Things that were owed to you. You know, look here's this. I didn't even shuffle and there's this one. Somebody is trying to be sneaky and deceptive about this situation because there's information that they don't want coming out about. Mm-hmm. All right, Spirit. Let's see here what we've got. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is... Uh, so okay so now I'm feeling this person is wanting cooperation he's wanting a teamwork game this is a realization uh, maybe that was because of the influence that you had and this person could be carrying a lot of burdens right now they are very uh, very I'm feeling very stressed out uh, they could be going through some excessive pressure right now mm-hmm uh, I'm feeling like okay, this page of pentacles. This this person is acting very childlike, immature. Um, they are in rage right now. They are in rage because they know time is up. That this is what has to be done, and they know that there is things coming out about them that they didn't want. Uh, yeah, I'm hearing that they didn't want others to know because oh. Alrighty, so that's what we're going to be doing today, exposing some people. So it looks like there's some individuals here that um, did not want to see you be successful. They did not want to see you thrive. They were literally, somebody was paying somebody to uh, send, do work on you, send negative energies. They paid a lot of money. Uh, somebody is in grief right now because, uh, and in disappointment, because, oh, they're, They've got a fear of, of risk here because they know what they had done and they know that it's, yeah, <laughs> page one says this, they've got to have some courage right now because collective, you are a free spirit. You are, a, yeah. Yep, chariot, this is forward movement. So this is literally a uh, triumph, uh, perseverance. This is about making it through and this situation is going to be laid to rest because we're healing it. And see, look, the devil energy on the bottom here. So this is about bondage, materialism. Um, very much, this is, I'm very, this person is in their, 
devil energy because they don't want they're in, again they're in despair because they don't want to have to give back what they stole from you oh my gosh I'm also hearing that there is uh, there's another side scenario, another side story going on with somebody else here. This is another energy uh, about saying that they that you took something from them, that you you took something, but you have already been proven innocent, uh, collective, and. Uh, it, these things have already been reviewed. I'm really feeling like there's another, this other energy. This is the a copycat energy. This is somebody that wanted to be like you, that was trying to do the same things, but then they were trying to do it and then uh, pull the ideas and then before you had executed them, they were doing it real quickly. So that way they were trying to be like, oh no, see, this was my idea. This was, this was mine. So I had this. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's dive in. So yeah, the kid room. Okay. <laughs> Somebody is having a hissy fit right now. Oh, they just gonna have to get over that. I buck up, buddy boy, because if you sent out this uh, spell work and if you sent out this negative energy, you best be prepared to get it back. <laughs> the most I said, get yeah, in abundance. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, all right, so Spirit, what's going on here? So, what, what's, yeah. Okay, so we have the wealthy man in reverse. I was getting ready to ask why this person was in despair, and I feel like that this is because of, they're not going to be the wealthy man after they give this money back to you. Uh, yeah. Something about a marriage here, and I feel like okay, so this could be a married couple that has to give this back to you. It could be the them that's in this That's why I'm getting this other uh, other third energy here. So I'm with this wealthy man again. This was in reverse. So uh, they could have spent this money. How they obtained this was they were trying to be you. And they may have stolen your identity. There could have been an identity theft. Woo. Yeah. Okay. So, look at here. Fell off. Yep. False person. Uh, and this say this this is right. This is happening now. This is happening like real time now. Uh, this uh, the numbers again. 13, 3, 8, 36, 63, 31, 32, 23, 27, or 72 could be significant. Uh, yeah, this is literally happening in real time right now. So what's going on? What is happening right here with this false person? Oh, they're in poverty. They know that they're going to be in poverty. Yep. Let's see here. So again, the numbers uh, 37 or 73 could be significant. Yeah, so they're, uh, yeah, somebody here is in concern right now. It's again, this is over a house situation. This person is in despair and bad health, and they know that they are going to be imprisoned for this, uh, for what they had done. Yeah. Again, the numbers 20, 32, 31, 29, 92, 13, 23, or 2 could be significant. So, I'm feeling right now, Spirit, this is very much somebody uh, who really done you wrong. And they were trying to be you, copy you. They could have fooled a lot of people. And there could be, there's multiple people involved with this situation this is a big situation going on here uh the main female is at the bottom of the deck here so um i'm very much feeling this person uh who is in concern it could be an older gentleman here uh who is in despair right now uh there's something going on here with the house they did something here with the house uh 
this collective, this could be a house that you don't even know about that was left to you, uh, and these people could have tried to take it, uh, but they're going, they're getting judged for this, <laughs> like, I'm feeling it as we speak, okay, um, so let me, yeah, let me, before I do that, let me, I'm gonna get some clarifiers in here. Get some clarifiers. The collective again, you don't have anything to worry about. The most stay keep your vibrations high. Uh, if you are feeling angry and stuff, you know, uh, try to release it in a uh, a way, a beneficial way that's beneficial to you, you know. Um, because we are a lot of us are all going through similar experiences and things. Um, it just may be a different time when you hit it because again. Time is not uh, line linear, right? Ooh. Uh, so, yep, this could be uh, this divine masculine here, um, who could be going through some heartbreak right now. They are secluded. They are in separation. They're reflecting, doing some soul searching because, uh, yeah, oh my gosh, uh, because of this Jezebel spirit. Uh, I'm feeling like this person, this divine masculine. Uh, chose a cho this divine masculine chose a Jezebel spirit over you oh my gosh uh, and this person could be going through chaos uh, an ego death a downward spiral right now uh, spiritual awakening so let's see here let's get into it. What, what's going on here yeah this could have been somebody that you were married to or are married to uh, so this could be uh, your ex collected. Let's see. What do we find out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is shocking news coming out here about a thug. They are saying goodbye. Mm -hmm. I just heard Leo. I just heard Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, this person could have been having reckless love sex. Uh, oh my gosh. They could have been having reckless love sex with somebody in your family. That's what I just heard too. Or this could be, uh, yeah, or it could be this thug is saying goodbye to this family, uh, because of this reckless love sex situation. Oh my gosh. They sleep with your spouse. Oh. What's going on here? What's going on here, Spirit? Mm hmm So, yeah, backstab. This is, uh, this is somebody that could have backstabbed you, could cause you, uh, pain, cheating, deception. They were, uh, could have been playing mind games, love bombing you, bombing you. They could have made you believe that you were the crazy one. Uh, but this person is feeling like shit right now and they are feeling like shit because of your spiritual gifts because that you are waking up and seeing through their illusion seeing that it was it's, like, it's all a dream type things what I just I just heard let's see here What's more? What about this person here, Spirit? Okay, yeah, so this is somebody that was a phony, a trickster. Uh, they were throwing up illusions. Uh, they were paint, giving a, uh, painting a fairy tale uh, like for you, but in reality, this could have been somebody that was energy harvesting off of you, trying to drain you for everything that you got. This person could be coping right now. They could be drinking a lot, smoking, doing, dr d doing drills. <laughs> they could be doing drills, could be doing drugs. Let's see here. Yep, all because, see, you are the queen bee. You're secure, confident, boss bitch, career focused. And this other person is in massive regrets because they, uh, either they, this is somebody that you were married to and no longer married, uh, and they wanted to pop the question, or this is somebody that could be wanting to pop the question and wanting to get married to you. But again, this is all over your spiritual gifts because this spell work, this love spell that they sent did not work because you love yourself, Collective. You've got self-love. Mm-hmm. Yep, and again, there it is again, confirmation. This person ha could have had a sex edition. They were getting readings on you. Uh, they were uh, 
trying to play a no strings attached situation. And this could, person could be getting caught up with the police. They could um, have warrants out uh, for them is what I just heard. Uh, yeah, this is, again, this is your ex. Uh, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let you go, psycho. Uh, this jackass here could have had a, uh, a side hustle. They could have worked for like Uber Eats. Uh, oh, yep, and this, yeah. Us Uber Eats, or um, it could have been that other thing because of that Coke thing. You know, it could have been a drug type of thing. Um, this person is under pressure. They're having anxiety decisions. Time's running out. They are faking busy right now, but it's too late. Spirit Sun said it is too late. Mm-hmm. Because uh, Divine Feminine, it is your time to shine. And Spirit says, this is our series, Spirit says, I love you. And there will not be a, any drama endings or loss or mental breakdown sent to you anymore. Enough is enough is what I just heard. Spirit just said enough is enough. The Most High and the ancestors have had it with these individuals uh, trying to stop you, block you, putting up obstacles in your way, uh, trying to uh, make you seem like something that you're not. It's they were trying to project their negativity onto you so that way you would look like that it was you when in reality it wasn't your energy at all. Okay, so let's break it down some more. Oh, this is good. This is a good reading today, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys will have to go and check out my uh, YouTube page. Uh, it is under Ms. Serena Knox. Uh, it's M S, and then my name Serena Knox. All right, spirit. So let's see what we got here. So eight 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 balance has been restored. Expect the unexpected, and I feel like collected. This is a good thing. This is because of the battle, the constant battles and things that you have to go through. Every time that they do something like this, uh, the Most High is literally rewarding you and, and giving you what you want. And he's doing it in front of these people so that way they he, they can see that uh, they're, they're literally, they're all their wishing of hate and downfall and stuff. All that is coming back to them. Yeah. Uh, 144, you could be seeing the numbers 144 or 888. Uh, spiritual Awakening and Enlightenment. Somebody was sending beauty spells that were, I'm hearing, they were trying to mess up your skin. This person could have bad skin, and so they were trying to mess up your skin. They could have been doing this back in April and May um, uh, or December. This could be a sister of yours. Let's see here. Yep. So a major change is coming. Yeah, a major change is coming. And, uh-oh, someone is lying. And someone is getting exposed. This person's name could begin with L. Um, and because they were fucking up with your seventh house. They were trying to knock you all out of balance. They were literally trying to make you seem like you weren't who you said you was. That's what I just heard. Mm-hmm. those okay so this person could be an Aquarius um, it says now don't lose control uh, zero 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 uh, this is could be your fresh start uh, I was getting ready to say this could be a fresh start for this Aquarius but as soon as I thought that this answer the answer was no uh, so this could be a fresh start uh, for you collective and yep, uh, one, 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 your intuition has been telling you this all along again. What did I say? Keep your vibes high and 666 reflect, reflect on, you know, this is about going inward, looking at yourself and looking about, we can't control what happens on around us. We can only control how we react. Yeah. And I've heard magic was involved with this situation. So these individuals were sending energy projections. Uh, they were sending their energies to you. So that way you would act in those states. But 
the divine already saw this and this per says this person wants you but i'm also feeling this person wanted to be you um the letters u v w and x could be significant here uh, let me pull some uh, let me pull some off of this oracle here i love that one this is the um horror movie of the horror oracle where it has like all these good uh, horror movies so let's see what's the message we got for the collective what is the message we have for the collective mm -hmm. three cards please okay so we have flight animal and lies so let's look in here and see flight animal and lies so flight okay Ooh, and i love this card this one this card is uh, from the movie the, the witch 2015 um oh that's cool so flight so it says go for it indulge yourself so this is uh Collective, this is about do not let anyone stop you from achieving your dreams. No matter what, keep going. No matter what you feel or even what you think, keep going. You got this and you can do it. Say this with me. I am a survivor. I am a winner. I am loved by the Most High. I am present. All right. Okay, the next one is animal. What rules applies here? Must they be obeyed? So, uh, this is when dealing with others, assuming one's Superiority can lead to cruelty or worse, the uh, exertion of power by fear or force. The feeling that one is or knows better than anyone else can be uh, mitigated through empathy, recognizing what we have in common with one another. Aren't we all hopeful animals in some form? So this care is about looking at the rules here, um, it's because it's saying, what are the, what rules apply here? And must they be obeyed? Uh, well, for my situation, of course, these rules must be obeyed. You know, it's about protecting your energy and making sure that anyone that tries to uh, steal or take your energies, that they will be divinely punished. And now, don't you do anything collective. You just give it to the most high and... The, he will handle it. Okay. So the next one here is lies. Okay. So this one. So this says things are not as they seem. Question authority. So again, guys, going back here to this uh, flight energy here. Uh, Upright, this says, go for it, indulge yourself. So, this is about questioning everything. This here is literally uh, more or less, uh, I feel like, a working together type of thing, but it's also seeing the rules of the situation and making sure. So, this is about taking your time, looking at the rules of the situation, and then taking action on it. You got this. Okay. So now let's do, um, we're going to do, I'm um, going to do an This is the Halloween Oracle. I'm feeling this because I'm feeling, like I said, I have been dealing with some energy vampires and dealing with uh, some incubus and succubus energies. You all could be going through these similar ex experiences where they are uh, pulling your energy, uh, where you're feeling like tired, pulled down, uh, you know, not feeling like that you are in the present moment. Again, I am present. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father, for keeping my energies purified. Thank you. All right, so what is the message here? So, zombie, this is about control. Somebody is in the background trying to, um, yeah, somebody is behind the scenes using magic, trying to control a situation because they're not wanting uh, this message to get out. But it's coming out, like I said, these individuals know, they're when they see this, they're going to know exactly. Yep, and let's see here. Dawn, the light after the darkness. So, guys, uh, some of y'all could be going through a dark night of the soul. Um... And some of y'all could be coming out of the dark night of the soul. Again, because it's about standing in forgiveness. Look, a jack-o'-lantern, protection here. So guys, you guys are being so protected right now. Just remember, keep your vibes high. Don't worry about the other individuals. Uh, a lot of these, they're run, uh, especially the individuals who don't know about magic and things. They don't know. They're, look, protection again. Uh, and mischief and play. Woo! I felt, oh, I felt the ancestors. So midnight, the most magical hour of all. Death, the eternal cycle begins. Woo! Uh, in the underworld, where all things pause and begin again. And trick or treat, mistress of play. So these individuals who have been sending energy your way or been messing up uh, in your energy field or doing any type of thing to put you into a negative state that you're not supposed to be in, these individuals are getting ready to get it from the ancestors because they're not realizing that the things that they are doing is actually messing with their lineage and messing with their ancestors. So the ancestors are going to come in and they're going to show them when I, they said, do not mess with this individual. That's what they meant. And oh my gosh, so the, this could be something, uh, guys, for the cross watchers here, for the ones that are uh, doing things, shading in the background, let me tell you, guys, it does not pay. And there is things that you all can't see or fully understand of what's going on. So I'm telling you, if it would, you all just need to get down and repent and ask the most, con ask the most high to forgive. That's just where all it is to it. Um, again, spider community web weaving. This person could have been going around in your community spreading a lot of lies and gossip, trying to make you seem like something that you weren't. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have this eternal love here because love is love is love is love and it transcends physical death. So I can't explain it enough. Guys, the, you in the collective, the ones that are in this loving and light, kindness, compassion, good high vibrational energy, you guys have nothing to worry about. It's the individuals who are energy vampires, who are uh, who feed off of the energies. Those days of them getting fed, especially off of this Earth Angel's energies, those are done. Because it's coming to that point to where if these things feed off of it, the Most High is going to alchemize it, that the energy, that they'll be thinking that they're going to get some Earth Angel energies. But in reality, it's going to be like, a poison apple type of deal is what I was just shown. <laughs> so, um, which reminds me, don't, if anybody gives you anything right now, a collective, it is very wise to make sure that you're eating your own food, fixing your own plates, fixing your own food, uh, just because, uh, again, they have, they don't want these messages and things to come out, so they kind of ramped up on these things. So, what's going to happen is, is, um, the protection that's around you is actually getting ready to be amped up. And uh, some of you all have divine bodyguards um, around you that are also going to be handling the situations. And that's what it comes down to. It. Don't do anything that's going to mess your divinity up. Give it to the Most High. It's okay to express that anger, but, you know, express it and give it to the Most High and let and talk to Him. Let Him know what's going on and that he will come down on these people like that. These people will apologize so fast that they won't know what happened. Woo, golly, that's a lot. That's a lot of messages here today, guys. Okay, so let's go with, um, yeah, let's go, with, we're gonna bring a few angels, uh, angels, gods, and goddesses here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, looky there. We have Archangel Raphael uh, is bringing intuition, health, and healing. Good healing energy vibes. We have Archangel Michael here with us. Uh, this is clarity, truth, and protection. Again, I told you that protection is getting amped up, guys. We have Archangel Raziel, uh, Raziel here. Uh, mysteries bringing the secrets are coming out. Oh my gosh, he's bringing out the secrets. Um, and this is protected knowledge as well. So he's making sure that the collective is getting the right knowledge and getting that information uh, while at the same time making sure that anyone who is not is also uh, making sure that they are not getting the correct information. Uh, and we have Jesus. So this is about forgiveness. Guys, forgiveness is the most powerful thing. We can't control anybody else, but what we can do is we can control ourselves. So standing in forgiveness is the best way to do that. Yes, Most High, I stand in forgiveness, absolutely. Uh, so this very much spiritual teacher here, uh, forgiveness, compassion. I'm feeling that beautiful love energy here. And then I just saw her. We have Goddess Gaia, Mother Gaia. This is Mother Nature, Mother Earth, the provider, the elements here. Uh, Guru Raman Da, uh, bringing in uh, humility, spiritual practices, and elevation. So guys, some of you all could be going through an ascension right now. Uh, let me tell you guys, when you do go through these ascensions, you're going to go through them in spurts because when you go through them, it is a little hard on the body, on the physical vessel. At least it is at first. And then the more that it happens, the more that you kind of get used to it. Uh, so, and then at the bottom of the deck here, we have Mother Mary. This is uh, purity of heart, uh, conception, and faith. So guys, literally, uh, you've got high vibrational beings surrounding you. Surrounding you. Uh, they are making sure that you guys are staying uh, protected. Guys, keep, uh, literally, keep yourselves uh, prayed up. Whether if it's God that you believe in, the universe, uh, whatever it is, it, it, you know, uh, for me, it's uh, the divine creator. You know, uh, it's about, you know, giving, showing mass respects to the most high and because I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here uh, today if it was not for the most high so let me get one prayer card here one prayer card one healing oracle prayer card please thank you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> alright yeah one card Got it. All right. Yep. Okay. So there's two here. So. Um, okay. Not right there. Okay. So our one prayer card today it says special healing for the open hearted. Oh, this is a beautiful one, guys. Special healing for the open hearted. Uh, the number 15 could be significant. 51 could be significant. Let's see here. Number 15, so that's on 26, 26. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says here, those with sensitive, open hearts and kind natures can feel the divine presence more than most. This is a great gift, yet sometimes they will suffer more because they feel so much. In their unwillingness to continue the spread of hate, fear, abuse, and judgment that they can that they experience in the world, uh, such souls may unintentionally take in such energies and direct them toward themselves. They may swing from feeling too much or being overwhelmed to finding it difficult to feel anything at all. Self-harming may manifest and include body shaming or self-hatred, uh, which exhausts the heart, uh, mind, and body over time. Yeah, it exhausts the heart, mind, and body over time. Fortunately, these conditions can be overcome. The beautiful heart strengthened through the experiences can become a vessel for compassion rather than absorption, an example of strength rather than suffering. This oracle brings your heart a special message of love, respect, and hope. There is healing for you now. It is your time. Your heart shall know peace again. Let's take a deep breath in, guys.
Archangel Raphael, you now awaken divine healing, inspiration, and renewal within me for the greatest good of all. The sacred breath, the power of fresh air upon which you travel, ushers in a new cycle, clears away the past, and refreshes my heart and mind with optimism. Please hold and protect the sacred space where healing shall happen according to divine grace. I open my heart to you, dear angelic friend. Please empower and bless this sacred work. So be it. Honoring free will, I offer this healing to my friends, families, and neighbors, and I ask that any residual energy be sent to where it can do the most good. Beloved Archangel Raphael, who loves, guides, and protects unconditionally, please bring peace and healing to my heart so that I can release the belief that I am not enough and remember that I am worthy of love and respect. Help me find ways to release pain and overcome suffering, that there are effective, healing, and kind. Please help me let go of blame, shame, and guilt, and realize that I am, as you see me and know me, a radiant divine child of the universe, spiritually growing and learning through my human experience this lifetime. Help me remember that my body loves me and is here for me, and that I can love and be here for my body too. Sometimes it is hard to be grateful for my life because I feel so much, but I also know that I am strong and there is always a better, more beautiful way if I open my heart to divine healing. I open my heart to your grace now. I know that I am worthy of your love and help me Choose peace in my heart and mind. I trust that the assistance I need will come to me and that I have enough courage and wisdom to accept that, help, and move forward on my healing journey. May the energies generated here today bring spiritual benefit to all beings and may any excess energies be sent to where it can do the most good. So be it. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. I honor your presence, and for the greatest good of all, this work is now sealed and complete. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, Collective, thank you all so much for joining me here on this message, and I will see you guys on the next one, sending you guys uh, abundance of love, light, and peace. Bye. Bye.